Hi YouTube! So, as you most likely know, I play a lot of Division 2, this game's close to my heart. And they released Season 11, Reign of Fire, just recently. And it's Chunks. That's our first target, is Chunks. <laughs> I haven't played the entirety of the season yet. Um, you can use the links below to skip what you don't like and watch what you do like. So I show you the introduction to the season characters, my build, and then the Chunks battle. Enjoy. So as I'm sure you already know, all these targets for the season are stone cold crazy. But my favorites upcoming are Auntie May and Mort Cursed Kellogg because they seem like they're crazier than the rest. Hey Agent, thank you for saving my ass last night. We need to bring you up to speed on Anderson and Sokolova's new alliance. Go ahead, Fred. General Anderson's true sons are embedded with the Black Tusk and have been helping Sokolova increase her fleet of hovercrafts in DC. After Coney Island, I'm concerned about potential mortar strikes. First up, Charles Trunks Crawford, ex-Navy, pure sadist. An engineer by trade, he has control issues and very little respect for the sanctity of human life. Lieutenant Banton, used to be a drone operator for the army. He believes he isn't responsible for someone's death unless he gets their blood on him. Banton will tell you he's never killed anyone, because he's never had blood on his hands. But he's murdered thousands. Mort cursed Kellogg. This guy has the worst luck. Rumor is he is a compulsive gambler. Got into debt with the wrong people and enlisted to try and pay back the loan sharks. They say he won the lotto on Black Friday and couldn't collect his winnings. Pretty sure loan sharks are the least of his problems now. Beatrice Anti Kaplan. I know her as Petty Officer Kaplan. She killed a guy during basic because he called her Auntie. You kill a guy for giving you a nickname, and then you make everyone call you that so they never forget what happens to people who mess with you? She's petty and dangerous. And last but not least, Zachary Stovepipe Beatty. I hate this guy. He thinks he's untouchable. He used to be an explosive ordnance disposal specialist. Pretty sure it was just an excuse to blow shit up, since all he ever does now is blow shit up. Frankly, I don't trust men that pretty. They always get away with too much shit. Stovepipe and his team are heavily armed, ruthless, and know every inch of this city. They know where to strike to do the most damage, physically and psychologically. Good luck tracking them down. I look forward to working with you, Agent. Wally managed to decrypt the file. She's at the castle settlement. Wally didn't want to talk about what she found on open comms. You should go meet her. You? Hey, Agent. It's Wally. Cindy's been doing security sweeps and noticed an uptick in hunter drone activity. Last week, she shot one down and recovered an encrypted file. She's a good hacker, but the data was too sophisticated for her. Lucky for you, I've been hacking Black Tusk and Hunter Tech for the past two months, so this was a piece of cake. Meet me at the castle if you want to hear what we found. I was running my DPS, which includes the FAMAS 2010, the Dread Edict, Coyote Mask, Matador Walker Harrison Co., Counterforce Vest Providence, Tactical Assault Gloves Pravi, Modular Holster Pravi, and Fox's Prayer Overlord Armaments with, of course, the drone. Lincoln Memorial. Chunks is unstable. Chunks. Be careful, Agent. Chunks is unstable. I want to switch my build. Hold on, don't go in. Oh. Whoops. Yeah. I just feel like Lincoln Memorial is like really to the, close to the chest. Don't do any sniping. There's a group guarding the outside. Yeah, there's a little fight going on outside when you get here. I haven't set to heroic, but I'm melting these guys really quickly. It's because you're a hero. I have plot armor. I can never die.
Okay, let's go. Single file. Time to take their lunch money. So far as said it, it's a one shot in, in one sap in legendary. Goodness. I knew they'd come out of there, but I didn't think it'd be a chungus. Peak of excitement. The more you know. <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Chungus. How are you today? Smelling interestingly. <laughs> Been wearing that suit long. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, they're right ahead already. Okay, great. Let the games begin. I'll just push these buttons behind this fence here. Who's buttons? Bricky is Bricky's button. What a glitch! That was a glitch and a half behind. Bricky wiki. Behind the wall. Bricky John wiki's buttons. Bricky, you don't have to use your pistol only, man. Oh no, I'm trying to get the the, the build up once two two headshots and then it's a one tap after that. I'm just trying to make you look good. <laughs> Behind you, Risky. That's the one that gets you. Oh, those guys are outside the fence. How's it going, Sarah? How's things? What's going on? Hello. Happy Friday. Actually, for you, it's probably Saturday, right? In our in a chat, so the clan leader, yeah. Hey, demigod, hello. What's the name? Oh, you're breaking up, brick. Can you okay? Kind of, you're like breaking up a little bit. No, yeah, it's weird. It's uncommon. Oh, good. Thanks, thanks, Sarah. I'm doing good, demigod. I'm hanging out, running this new content. We just got this this week for Division 2. Someone's running True Patriot. Yeah, that's been risky. I know you're somewhere over there, guys. They don't move. Oh, I was shooting up. Did you play it already, Sarah? Hello, Chunkus. Dog to your left, what? I can hear him. Me. Yeah. Not I think he's shooting you, so at me. No, shot at me. 
I know this because the majority of my life is gone. System curtailed. Sometimes I feel like my character jumps in slow motion. Right when I need that to not be the case. Oh, we got a new wave left side. Oh, jeez. Grenade. Chungus is in the new wave and doggo. Shoot them both in the butt. All right, dog is down. Shoot everything in the butt. Unknown network detected. A lot of people are saying that they've already finished off the season. Like not the manhunts, but. I think Kaz was saying he already had, he finished the season, he already has the new exotic backpack. Well, that's the dream, hope's the dream. What's up, Hikaru? You hope to melt them, sometimes you don't. <laughs> don't do things like me. Yeah, you rushed it. I forget how to open this door. Doesn't this open right, you the shot door? your thing already. It just not opening. Part. Oh. But yeah, the box. Somebody shot the box here. Oh, DZ landmarks. I'll bet the DZ is just. I don't think they. I don't God. think the box is open on this. Oh, because we're doing this special stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shooting whiskey in the back of the head. Encrypted file detected. Uploading to database for analysis. enjoying the update i like the story they've made they've figured out how to make uh sakalova funny <laughs> for me that's a huge win the voiceover is so hilarious System malfunctioning. do you want a chef I should do a Sokolova cosplay. <laughs> She's hot, man. So robotic. I think robotic is the new hot. If it's not cold and robotic, it's not hot. You know what I'm saying? Are you starting it tonight? A lot of my friends have already played the whole thing. Oh, God. I found Chunks! He's on me! Yeah. Chunks is else. on me! Bad Chunks. No. Oh, God. Oh! I don't have any suits, that's the only thing. Here comes Chunks. Bad Chunks. Identification confirmed. Charles. 
Chunks, Crawford. Status, deceased. No more chunks. One less black tusk to worry about. Good work, agent. No more bubbles. It didn't take us too long. That took us like two hours. <laughs> yeah. Two hours. Use the computer near the hunter drone. Decrypted one of the drone recordings. Meet me at the castle if you want to listen to it. We should probably all lead the group so that we can do that. Yeah, I did it already, so you could go ahead. Okay. Um, Rock Jesus. Just FYI, if you're in a team, you are gonna have trouble with some of the cutscenes at the beginning of this. Like in our grouping, I wasn't able to talk to Wally. So just leave the group and then talk to Wally and it's no problem. I like guess the same for Manny. Oh yeah, cause everyone was saying like, she's still alive. That's why they had people coming in. But then later on they were like, they were like, no, she definitely died. Garabi, hey! I'll be here, Phil. Go this way. Welcome back, Garabi. Playing this game this morning, I had such strong feelings of nostalgia. Ah, yes, next to Wally. Oh, goodness, it's not working. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna log out. Call of Duty, the campaign. I started it and then I got to that mission where you um, were driving the car along. Here we go. And I just had so much trouble with that mission that I set it down and then I didn't pick it up again. I want to assure you that this is merely a hypothetical question. Okay. Hypothetically, what would happen to a mortar operator if they were to use a launcher that had previously housed a dirty bomb? Too many factors to consider. Exposure time, amount of radioactive material, amount of transfer, what kind of particulate? It wouldn't be instantly fatal? Of course not. We're exposed to radiation every day. By the time you're showing symptoms of radiation poisoning, it's generally too late. Thank you, Chunks. Why are you asking? No reason. I just like to be prepared for all scenarios. If you're worried about exposure at the plant, you should start taking iodine to protect your thyroid. That's very useful information. Um... What? Did you guys just hear that? I'm pretty sure that Sokolova is planning on not launching a nuclear weapon and that's what is being said. Yeah, I think she's going to be driving it herself. Or she's going to have a valued teammate. And, not, you know, not do it herself, but have a valued teammate driving a nuke around and then launching it and then continuing on. Crazy. She's stone cold crazy, chat. Can't confirm. So apparently she's going to start taking iodine for her thyroid. 